She is provoking her, you guys. She's so angry. They're both so angry. They're fighting! They're fighting! Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode of The Royal Family, we had King Henry go out on a date with Lady Ava. He asked her to be his girlfriend, and she said yes. And they also had their first kiss. So they're together now, and they're super cute. We love them a lot as a couple. This is the first girlfriend and, I mean, first serious relationship since Queen Alice passed away. Technically several years ago, because, like, the, the their children were kids when they passed away. Now they're teenagers and almost young adults. So it's been quite a while, so I'm super Super, super happy for him. And also in the last episode, because we found out that Prince Michael had a baby with Lady Helena and they're both teenagers, the royal family of Oasis Springs took both Lady Helena and their son, Lord AJ, in and they had to move in with them. Lady Helena was not too happy about it. She was very sad, very depressed to be away from her family. That happened in the last episode. I'm filming this episode directly after the last episode, so any comments on that video I have not seen yet. So I would definitely focus on them probably in another, in another video when I have seen all of your comments and everything so just so you guys know but in this episode there's a lot I want to do I want to age up a lot of babies because there's a lot of infants and toddlers that I do want to really age up I also really want to kind of see Princess Belle and Prince Francisco see if they might end up becoming boyfriend and girlfriend if their relationship evolves into something else and then I also really want to have Lady Ava over for dinner at the Winnipeg Castle so I I don't know if I have time to do that all in this episode but I really really want to so I'm gonna save that for last because if I don't get to it then at least I can say that for the next episode so yeah so if you're excited for this episode and everything we're gonna do give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you're not subscribed already let's go ahead and play the royal family okay so i wanted to start by aging up a lot of children so i just i don't know who to play for i guess we could play from the royal family of willow creek because since i was gonna like end up playing with them anyway okay so oh guys they're all in their hot weather outfits and i love princess Belle's hot weather outfit it's so cute. Look how cute this is. Oh, and she's got like gloves with it too, which you can't really see because her hands are in her skirt. But this like cute little hat with it also. It's just super cute. And her heels match her dress. That is adorable. So I'm going to bring Queen Cora here. I'm actually probably going to first play with King Cora or King Edmund and Queen Cora because we don't really get to see them as often. So I'm going to go ahead and play from their point of view. So we're going to go ahead and have them travel. I don't think we need to bring the entire family, but like there's like a few different children we just want to like age up and stuff too so why don't we just bring nah, let's just do queen cora and king edmund okay so we're gonna go ahead and knock on their door so this is one of the families that you guys had pointed out in the family tree that i had missed their birth so i didn't get a chance to name them so the the baby's missing a title so this is baroness valentina and baron i think it's baron peter oh I, I i should probably check but this is actually Lady Lady Ava's house because this is her sister and her brother-in-law who has had this baby. I can't find any of the children because they have a toddler too. Oh no, there they are. Oh, they're hidden over here. Okay, so it is Baron Matthew. That's it. Okay, so Baron Matthew and then they have a son, Lord Lucas. So they're in here in the nursery. I think it was like named Riley or something like that, but we're gonna go age up the baby. I, apparently I never changed Lord Lucas's outfit because I don't love his outfit with the shoes and everything. But, so we've aged up their second baby, so th their baby's name was Riley, but I think we're gonna go ahead and change that, so I'm gonna modify and cast and change their name. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this is actually Lady Ava's household, she still lives here, she's still a young adult, she still lives here because she hasn't, like, gotten married or anything yet, so she didn't really have a place to go, but hopefully, maybe, I'm sure she wants to maybe become the Queen of Windenburg, so that is definitely an option. So I'm just changing his outfit a little bit, he's got this, like, cute little slick back hair, I'm pretty sure this is custom cut in hair but it's really really cute so he's adorable so this is lady ava's nephew so i'm not gonna keep the name riley not a huge fan of that i did get a request for the name maxwell so i'm gonna do lord maxwell i also really like the name maximilian <sighs> Maybe I will do, I'll do a different baby that. I think Maxwell is good for now. So anyway, guys, so yeah, so that's Lord Lucas and Lord Maxwell. So I'm going to go ahead and have King Edmund and Queen Cora, our official baby ager uppers. They're going to go ahead and age up Duchess Jill's baby. So wait, oh, no, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm with the Baroness family. So I have, I have switched family. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, another loading screen. I've switched families, apparently. So apparently Lady Ava is going to be our official baby ager upper for Duchess Jillian, which is 
King Adrian's mistress. Okay, so Lady Ava's here. She, I guess since we switched controls to her, it was, it's just easier to just start from her to have her do this. So, Duchess Jillian, let's find her baby. I think he is upstairs. This is Lady Isadora. So we're going to go ahead and age her up. So guys, I think Duchess Jillian's pregnant again. I need to find her because I do not know where she went. Oh no, she's home. Okay, that's just Jillian. So yeah, she's pregnant. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know whose baby it is. I don't know if it's King Adrian's or if it's her husband, Duke Harrison's baby. So that'll be interesting when the baby's born. I'm kind of excited to see whose it is because we can just look on the family tree to see whose baby it is. But yeah, I wish there was like a way for it to be like a mystery and they had to like take a test or something for it. I think that'd be really, really interesting. Um, but I mean, it makes sense. She's married to Duke Harrison if it is his baby. So yeah, so we'll get to see that too. So Lady Isadora has aged up, guys. So, uh, oh, she's so cute. <gasps> She has dark hair and these like gray eyes like her mother, <gasps> but, <gasps> but you guys, she's got, she's got brown hair, I think. Is that dark brown hair? I think it is. It's dark brown hair. And, and she doesn't have dark brown hair and Duke Harrison doesn't have dark brown hair either. <gasps> but she kind of looks like Duke Harrison. I know it's not, it's not his baby, and but like he doesn't know that. Um, So Duke Harrison does have a gray eye. Oh, he's wearing sunglasses, so I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure he has gray eyes or blue eyes or something, but so does Duchess Jill. So he might just not know. I don't think Duchess Jill is gonna tell him. I think she is gonna continue to, sing, to see King Adrian. So I'll we'll have to see her baby when it comes to. So guys, okay, so that is Duchess Jill. So you guys will let me know what you think of Lady Isadora. She's really pretty. I'll definitely change her outfits and stuff later on, but she does have that dark brown hair that we're gonna keep too, but she also has these beautiful gray eyes like her mother and maybe be like her her father who we think is her father so that's very very interesting okay so i also wanted to age up lady sadira because it is time i it might be not quite time for an age up yet but i still want her to age up because i'm really excited to see what she's gonna look like as a child i'm excited to, to see what she's gonna look like as a teenager and adult honestly she's beautiful guys okay so we are at princess anna's house or marquis anna uh, the, Mar the marquis of windenburg so i don't think showed you guys their new house yet, have I? This is their new house. It's huge. I feel like, did I show this to you guys? I don't remember. Um, but anyway, it's real. It's a lot bigger than their last house was because they live on such a small lot that it was really hard to figure out like a house that was good for them. But this house has like seven stories. Like it's insane. Like it's just got so, so much. So her two girls, so we have Lady Aurora and Lady Ezra, so they're both here. Lady Ezra, she's still got, she's still got a long time before she turns into a teenager, though. And then Marquis, oh, wait, no, Marquis Anna was supposed to be baking a cake. Did she finish already? Okay, so Lady, or pff, Marquis, technically it's Marquis Anna. I keep calling her Princess Anna, though. Um, wait, she started baking the cake down here, but then went upstairs, I guess, because there's no counter space. <laughs> That's really, really interesting. So uh, Princess Anna is cooking the cake. They probably could use, like, a butler or something like that. Like that honestly um i think she should have one i feel like she's had one like most of her life so she's so used to it by now um but she's gonna add some birthday candles and then we're going to help out candles for lady sadira guys i'm so excited to see her as a child <gasps> i'm so excited she's so beautiful and i love her so so much okay guys so we are laid aging we're aging up lady sadira so she just blew up the candles she's putting her down <gasps> i'm so excited okay lady sadira aged up so she was a wild so i think for sure uh the motor aspiration is going to be her aspiration she's wild she's the youngest of three girls you guys i think she's gonna be definitely like a huge partier super outgoing and stuff too so i don't know should just i should i just make outgoing her trait or should i make it like like goofball maybe she would be a goofball we'll do outgoing i think that's good they really need more traits for children but this is her you guys she's so pretty she looks so cute oh my gosh okay i'm gonna change her outfit another time too because there as i mentioned there's a lot i want to do in this episode so we're gonna have her um i'm gonna change her clothes and stuff and that'll be in the next episode but guys she's really pretty she's got curly so she has curly hair so i'm gonna try to stick with that the curly hair um but i think that i'm really excited for you guys to see her when i like change her outfits and and stuff too. Now we're gonna go ahead um, to Princess Belle and have her maybe ask 
Prince Francis go on a date? Hopefully he'll say yes, we'll just have to see. So yeah, we'll get to go ahead and go hang out with them. Okay, so we are here at the Royal Family of Willow Creek. It is 3 a.m. So it is really late to in be inviting over Prince Francisco, but I think we're gonna do it anyway. Um, so I'm gonna have, I don't even know if like she should ask him on a date yet, maybe? If she invites him over, he's not gonna come over because it's like so late. So I just need to teleport him here. So sim commands, teleport world sims. So let's go ahead and invite Prince Francisco. So there he is, he just suddenly appears, which is so easy. So he hasn't been too receptive of Princess Belle's flirting. So I'm, I don't know. I do, do I want to do like a, like form a group or something with them? Action, form group with Prince Francisco so they can like do stuff together. So I'm gonna have them watch a movie or watch TV together, watch movie with, so watch, mm, watch, watch a horror movie together. So they're gonna watch a horror movie together. Oh no, Prince Jack, you ruined it. Okay, Prince Jack, go away. And then, then you guys can watch, watch, watch a movie together. Watch a movie with, so watch Sims of the Dead with Prince Francis. So now they're gonna go watch together. He did sit down next to her, so that is definitely a good thing. <gasps> guys, I think they're really, really cute. Oh my gosh, guys, they're so cute. And they're watching like, oh no, no, they got up. Never mind, they got up. They stood up. Maybe try to get them in a flirty mood. Can you do that? Watch channel, watch romance. Okay, so when they watch romance, usually it works that, that the Sims can get into a flirty mood. Although he keeps getting up, you guys. Oh my God, why? Why is he not into this? I don't understand. Princess Belle is beautiful and she's so sweet. And I, But like, it's so hard to get Prince Francisco to hang out with her. Maybe, maybe play chess together. Oh wait, no, I'm, I am on Prince Louis. Play, play chess together. Let's see, what's Prince Jack doing? He is playing some video games. So I think that Prince Jack, I know that she's, oh wait, wait. What, I thought, wasn't he flirting with Lady Katarina last time? It doesn't say he knows her. Why doesn't it say he knows Lady K Wasn't that who we were flirting with when we did the matchmaking episode? I'm so confused. It says he doesn't even know her. Maybe she like cut him out. Maybe she did. <gasps> that sucks. Okay, well, we gotta find someone for Prince Jack. Prince Louis, him and Lady Corinne. Wait. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that's Prince Jack. I was like, oh my God, what? What is happening to everyone's romantic relationship? Okay. So Lady Corinne and him are super, super cute. I'm gonna send her a text. I know she's, well, it's 6 a.m., so she might be awake, but they might be sleeping, not 100% sure yet, but they're really cute, guys. Lady Corinne and him are super cute, and I'm really hoping that she becomes the queen of Willow Creek, too. So how long does a Prince Louis have before he ages up? 19. So he's actually pretty close in age with Lady with Princess Amira. So maybe they'll all, like, they're all pretty, pretty close. And I think Lady Corinne, too, is about that age as well. So. Princess Belle, guys, is feeling very, very flirty. Okay, so I'm gonna have her start flirting with Prince Francisco again. I don't know if he's feeling flirty. Oh no, he's just happy. So he's not feeling flirty yet, but Princess Amira, or, oh my gosh, guys, names. Princess Belle is feeling super flirty. So I think this might work. It seems like it's working a little bit. Maybe finally they can end up together. Yeah, I definitely don't think we're gonna get to the, the dinner with the Windenburg family in this episode because apparently this is taking a while to get them to flirt with each other. So I think we're gonna have to do that in the next episode, but we can at least focus on them for a bit. They are going to have to go to school though. So that's not a good thing. It's also not dinner time yet. So we'll, we won't do that in this episode, but I think that things seem to be going pretty good. The romance seems to be going up, although her brother is just joining the conversation and I don't want him to. So he needs to do his homework. He has two, two homeworks. We're gonna give one to Prince Louis, your brother, so he can do his own also. But like, Prince Jack, you don't need to be in this conversation. He's kind of, he's like literally hovering. Like he is so overprotective of his little sister. He is hovering right now. Oh no, Prince Prince Francisco is feeling uncomfortable. She need make happy. Okay, now he's happy again. Their romantic relationship is not going up at all. I kind of think maybe it's not meant to be, but I really wanted Princess Belle to end up with him. Well, okay, no. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. So now they're feeling very, he's feeling flirty. She's gonna compliment his appearance. I need to run or I'll be late to class. Oh, dang it, guys. <gasps> Guys, there's like really not much of a, um, not, not much 
much progress going on there. She needs to go to school though. I don't think she did her homework, but she does need to go to school. So not too much progress has happened with them, but it looked like things were happening. So I think things are just going to be very slow, but things are definitely happen happening between them. So I think it'll work. I do think it'll work between them. I, it was just taking like a while. Okay, so all the children are at school right now. It looks like Duchess Jillian, she has not had her baby yet. So why don't we have, I'm gonna have King Adrian then go check in on Lady Harmony from Strangerville. She can go, he can go check in on her um, and, and his daughter too. Did we check on them yet? I don't think we did. Yeah, so we're gonna have him check on her. Maybe they'll have another child together, but I don't know if she'll be willing to because like she's all on her own, banished in this place. So I don't know if she's gonna wanna have another baby because she's kind of handling this all on her own with the governess too, but she might just be super in love with King Adrian also. Cause she, she was, she was a little, she had some stuff going on with her too. So I think we're going to go visit Lady Harmony though. We'll see if they have another baby. We'll see how things, like if there's a spark or anything between them. So we want to go to Strangerville and then he's going to stay in his disguise for sure. You know what? I wanted to change their house because this just seemed like to me like such a, such like a, like a pool. Like it's not a nice house. Like if you look inside, it's so empty. So I think we're gonna try to change it. So I'm gonna look up like a Strangerville mansion or something like that. Um, and then hopefully we can like get them a nicer house. So he's here basically to give her money, to give her a nicer house, an instant house really. Um, and then I like that I can like search for this in the gallery because you guys can see exactly what I'm downloading too. So this one is really cool. It's a mansion has five bedrooms, five bathrooms. It's beautiful. It's kind of like, somewhat like it's kind of got the style of oasis springs but like not really like the colors and like the plants and everything kind of remind me of oasis springs everything else not so much guys this house is beautiful oh my gosh i will let's see what did i download again i have to go back to that and try to find that again so this one is made by Esro, E-Y-S-S-R-O. So you guys can download this if you want to. Um, so I will put that link in the description below as well. This is not, this is much more like it. For her to get a house like this is, is definitely worth it. To be honest, this is nicer than the house that she had back home. So oh, is she even here though? I don't see her anywhere. Lady Harmony, where are, oh, this is his daughter. His daughter, Lady Charlotte, guys. Oh, pick her up, say hi to her. She's having a tantrum right now though. She's so cute, guys. I love her hair so, so much. Okay, but so we're gonna go find, this is the, the, the governess. We should probably talk to her and like, cause she's taking care of his children. So we're gonna go talk to her. And then I wanna find Lady Harmony cause I swear I just saw her like walk in or something. Oh my God, guys, Queen Lindsay's here. <gasps> you know what? I feel like there's been so many rumors about his mistresses lately. I feel like she must've gotten a lead that he was here in Strangerville. And like, she's never been here before, but I feel like she came here to figure out what's going on. Oh. My God, she seems happy though. I think she's very suspicious. She's walking into this house like, okay, who the heck is here? Where's King Adrian? He's upstairs. Lady Harmony's not even here though. So his mistress isn't even here, but his daughter is. And the governess is, is here too. Should he hide in here or should he go outside? What do we do? Queen Lindsay's not going inside though. And I mean, King Adrian has a disguise on, but really this isn't gonna do anything to his wife. Like his wife obviously knows it's him. I think he's gonna take the disguise off because otherwise she might get a little bit suspicious. Vicious. Queen Lindsay is inside, you guys. She's going upstairs. She totally knows. She's going straight towards him, guys. I'm not even controlling her. She's going straight towards him. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's swerving a little bit, but she totally saw him. She absolutely saw him. There's no way to hide this right now. He needs to go talk to her and confront her. He definitely, definitely needs to. Oh my God. You guys, I found Lady Harmony. Are they gonna do romantic interactions? He knows his wife is here now, so he can't. He has to explain why he's here. There's no way he can get out of this. He has to explain this. He has got to explain himself to Queen Lindsay, you guys, to his wife. She totally knows. She absolutely knows. <gasps> Wait, oh, their romantic relationship has gone up a lot. It used to not be that great, but now it's a lot. He's explaining himself. I feel like he's not gonna be able to get out of this. The governess is in the room too, you guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you know what? I think, I think Queen Lindsay knows, and I think she's gonna go, now that Lady Harmony's here, I think that Queen Lindsay's gonna go confront Lady Harmony now. She hasn't seen her their daughter yet though. I don't even know if she knows it's her daughter. I think she's heard rumors that it's her daughter. <gasps> but but Lady Harmony is holding their daughter. Oh my gosh. Okay, Lady Harmony's in here. 
<gasps> she's feeling insecure, you guys. Lady Harmony is feeling so insecure, and the roman and the the relationship between them just went down. This has turned into a group conversation. I think Queen Lindsay, you guys. I think she's gonna go full force. <gasps> would she shut? No, she's the queen. I think she would insult her. I do not think she would shove her. She's the queen. I think she can still be a little bit ladylike. I mean, she's not born into royalty though. She's feeling so insecure, you guys. Lady Harmony's feeling insecure because her, her, not boyfriend, but her lover's wife is here. Argue about parenting maybe because now I think, I think she knows that that is their daughter. She has found out that her husband has a child. Little does she know that he's a child with many other women and Lady Harmony just happens to be the first one to get the the, the butt end of this so oh my gosh we're gonna insult her some more i think because like you would think that because lady harmony lives so far away from oasis springs that she would have been the last person to find out about but because she's the only one who's single and and i think because she is from oasis springs that that's how that's how lady lindsay or queen lindsay has found out <gasps> yell at her oh my gosh you guys 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 oh my god I, I know I'm like freaking out and I'm doing this, but like it's just so intense to me. King Adrian is avoiding this as much as he can. He's gonna go take care of his daughter, I think. He's avoiding this. He's standing outside and avoiding this. Although Queen Lindsay is like, oh, she's feel it's an offensive conversation. She's feeling so, so angry. I don't know. Queen Lindsay doesn't really have like a like a temper or anything like that, but she is about to age up into an adult. She's about to be middle-aged and I feel like she would probably feel insecure because King Adrian has had all these, all these like, like this is his mistress and she's so much younger than she is. I think Queen Lindsay is so mad. I know she's a queen. She's supposed to act ladylike, but she's not actually born into royalty. So I think she might have a bit of a temper with this. <laughs> She threw a trick at her! She threw a trick at her, you guys! Oh, oh my god. I don't know if you guys just saw Lady Harmony's face, but she looked scary, angry. This is so intense, oh my god. Okay, she's 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 provoking her right now too. She is provoking her, you guys. She's so angry, they're both so angry. They actually look very similar. Oh my god. King Adrian is like on the couch though with his daughter over there. Okay, so Queen Lindsay is continuing to yell at Lady Harmony, you guys. Oh my gosh, she is like actually terrifying. <gasps> she just shoved her! You guys, she just shoved her! Oh my god! <gasps> They're fighting! They're fighting! That's the queen! Oh my god! Lady Harmony is doing this to the queen! She's doing this to the queen! <gasps> Lady Harmony is going to be like exiled for attacking the queen, I feel like. Oh my God, they're fighting again. I swear I did not even do that. I didn't even do that one. Oh my God, you guys, they are, this is, oh, they're fighting on their own. Oh my God. Okay, they need to get out of here. King Adrian needs to get Queen Lindsay out of here. I feel like Lady Harmony is gonna be in so much trouble. You know that Queen Lindsay is gonna bring on like, like lawyers and like security and like all this stuff on her. Like she's gonna bring on full force, I think. Queen Lindsay is going to make her life miserable. Okay, you guys, so I think we need to get her out of here. I think she needs to go home. I think we're gonna end this episode here. I think Adrian is like, we need to leave. And he's gonna call security and to like get his wife out of there and like away from his child and everything too. So let me know what you guys think of this episode. I'm gonna end it here. I am just like, I like Queen Lindsay now knows. She only knows about one mistress though, but I'm sure she is probably speculating that there are other mistresses too. I don't know if she's going to try to like make Lady Harmony's life miserable, try to do something to their daughter maybe. They're already banished to Strangerville, like what else could she really do though? Like they're already kind of exiled. So you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think. Leave your your comments and suggestions in the, in the comments below. But I'm so excited to see what you guys are gonna say because this was like such a dramatic episode and I was not expecting this to happen to be honest. I was not expecting Queen Lindsay to show up, but oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and turn on your notifications and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!